In this video we're going to install Node.js, which is a JavaScript runtime. This is going to allow us to run JavaScript code from the command line on our Windows 10 fresh install we have here. So open up a browser and search for Node.js. That should take us to Node.js.org. That's the first hit. And you see it's detected our operating system and architecture. So this is Windows and we have a 64-bit system, so that's good and it's offering us two different download choices. The LTS version stands for long-term support and it's usually the most stable. Um, and then the, the current version, it has the most features. It's the latest version that they have out, but it's usually not quite as stable. So for our purposes, 12.14.1 is gonna be plenty. So we're gonna click on that and download it. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so I'm gonna just open up my uh, file browser and go to downloads and here we have node version 12.14.1 and we double click on that to begin the installation process uh, click next obviously read the entire terms and conditions like everyone does next this is where we'll install program files node.js next make sure you have add to path included here so I'm going to double check and I'm going to say entire feature. Um, I don't think I needed to say entire feature, but just double checking. We want Node.js and NPM. NPM is the package manager used for Node.js where we can install additional libraries uh, from the internet. Okay, So we're going to need both of those things and we're going to need them available in our path so we can access them from the command line. So this is good. We will click next. Um, so Node has the ability to uh, interact with C and C++ modules. Um, if you're doing any of that, click this, but it will take a very long time to install. So for most purposes, you will not need this step. And just click Next, and then click Install. Confirm the security exception. It's finished installing, so click Finish. And now, if everything went according to plan, we should have access to Node from uh, the command line. So go to the Start menu and type cmd.exe. That's the command prompt. I also have a shortcut to it here, which I recommend. OK, so here's the command prompt. We're going to change directories to desktop. Um, and then we'll just run Node to start with. And so this is running Node in interactive mode. So now I have access to JavaScript that I can run let x equal 5 and then console.log x plus 3. Right? Left a semicolon off there, but it's very forgiving. So when you fail to add some semicolons, uh, most cases it will be OK with that. All right. To leave the interactive mode, dot exit. Okay, we're back at the command line now. So that's good. Now we want to test to make sure we can run a script. So we're going to make our first uh, JavaScript file, a classic hello world example. So on the desktop, I'm just going to right click and go to new text document. Okay, and I want hello.js. Okay, so notice that by default, it's a .txt file, and I have my Windows configured to show extensions. I highly recommend you do that. Okay. For example, I'm going to leave that .txt extension on there and show you. If I open up a uh, file browser and go to View and have file name extensions checked, that's what you should have. If I uncheck this, this is how it is by default, we see this file says hello.js, so I might think it has the proper extension .js. But obviously, as we check this file name extensions, now we see the real extension. So this, this is often a problem. Um, so always make sure that you are viewing the file extensions. So we're going to rename that and get rid of the .txt. Let's 
going to tell us we're changing the extension. Are you sure? Yes. And we have this nice hokey JavaScript icon uh, that shows this is a JavaScript file. So we can right click on this and go to edit. And this opens up in Notepad. We're going to use a much better better editor in the future. I wouldn't recommend using Notepad for hardly anything, but we're going to make a very small program here. So this is going to be console.log, and we're going to do the classic hello world. And this is in JavaScript. Console.log is how you print things. And we're going to go ahead and make um, a for loop as well. So for Start with i equal to 0. As long as i is less than 10, then we're going to add 1 to i each time through the loop. And then console.log i. All right, so this should be a simple for loop that should run 10 times from 0 to 9 and log that out after hello world. So we can save this, control S, and we can go back to our command prompt, and we should be able to write, or to execute command node, and then hello.js. And we see it prints out hello world, and then runs the for loop 10 times, printing out each value of i as it goes through the loop. And we'll return back to our command prompt when finished. So we've installed Node.js. We see that it's working. We've actually run a script with it. There's one more thing that we want to do. We want to make sure npm is installed. So we've got Node installed, and we, we can check the version, Node hyphen hyphen version. So that's 12.14.1. That's correct. And we have npm. npm is the package manager. It stands for Node Package Manager. It allows us to install additional JavaScript libraries and have access to them. Uh, from our scripts. So npm is installed and it's version 6.13.4. So that's fine. Um, the main thing that we want to install, install here is a linter. It's a code linter that will help us keep our code uh, neat and tidy. It will inform us once we install a better text editor, it will inform us when we have errors in our code before we even run the software. So that's really nice. So to install this linter, we use npm and then install Oops. And then we want to install this globally. So we use hyphen G and we want to install ESLint and run that. And so this will install the ESLint package globally for us and allow us to make use of ESLint when we have installed uh, an additional editor. Okay, so it's installed and we should be good to go. So that's how you install Node.js and get the basics working right away.